The reason why I wish I was invisible. You know, invisibility wouldn't be too bad. Because when you think about it, most of the time you walking around during the day, 99% of the time you passing people that you wish you didn't even have to look at. To be quite honest with you, like most of the people you say hey to and hello and people who cross your path. You really don't want to look at those people. You know, that's why invisibility would be ideal. Even the um, idea of wearing shades. But in invisibility would be even better than that. You know what I mean? Because the reason why I say that is because I hate connecting my emotions with people. Because as soon as you look at somebody in their eyes, it's this emotional exchange that takes place. I hate having exchanges with these people. I don't even like talking to them. So just by looking at them, you're going to have some type of exchange of energy, which I would rather not partake in. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of emotions, out of mind the same thing just by looking at somebody it can be an evil experience yeah if it's not the right kind of person when you look at them it's an evil experience because it's going to conjure up negative feelings am i right it's going to conjure up negative feelings you ever been having a good day and then all of a sudden you see somebody and you be like, oh, man, what did, what happened? They instantly made you think about something negative. They brought about some type of negative emotion. And that's how it is with ninety nine point nine 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 percent of people. They bring about negativity. And. I just wish I was invisible, man. Really, man, spirits got it good. You know what I'm saying? A spirit, you don't see a spirit. A spirit could be right in front of you and you don't even see it. They got it good in so many ways. But as humans, we spirits too. But the only thing is you can see the human being. Looking at somebody in their eyes, that's such an unpleasant feeling, man. I mean, you can look at somebody in their eyes, but the whole while, it's like this mental game. It's in the silent world. You ever stared at somebody, you, you was talking to them? I'm talking about one of them kind of people that they not on your level. And you can tell that they one of those HPBs and you be talking to them and you be suppressing what you feel about them and they be suppressing what they feel about you. And it creates this awkward moment. Ever been in those situations? It happens to me all the time. The reason why it happens to me so much is because when you can see what these people are, that's when it's worse. It may not feel like that to them when they looking at you, but a person with this higher knowledge, when you see that person, the only thing that can happen is you going to get some type of negative feeling? How can you have a, a positive feeling interacting with a negative person? Even if they smiling in your face, 
even if they open the door for you, it's just the fact that they are ignorant. That's what disturbs you the most. Even if they being respectful, that's not even the issue with me. The very fact that you are ignorant, that upsets me. And I'm not talking about ignorance like you don't know about a certain subject matter in physics or science. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about being like spiritually stupid and ignorant and dumb and naive. Doesn't that irk you to be around people that's that's just so childish spiritually childish they spiritually kids man how can you have these adults out here walking around and just spiritually just childish man they don't have no type of intellect man i'm talking about spiritual intellect and when you interface with that stuff man it upsets you man it just reminds you every day Exactly where we exist That's what these people remind me of Every day I look at them It reminds me To the fact That we are living In a nut house And what makes it so bad In this nut house They the ones who control the nut house And we have to follow The rules and regulations That these nuts set in place that's what makes it worse. When you when you know that you're better than these people and still you got to work on the same job with them. When you know you're better than these people and then if you got a taste for a sandwich or something, you got to wait in line for them to make your sandwich. That's why I wish things in this world had stayed natural, man. That way we would have less time Having to deal with these people If the world was still natural And we still lived off the earth We wouldn't never have to go to a supermarket We wouldn't never have to engage with these people We could talk shit And wouldn't have to worry about losing our job Because we know that Hey, I got my own apple tree I got my own fill With food I got my own water source So I don't have to be a little psychophant Uh Green thumbing, green thumbing, little placating, butt kissing individual. I can say what I want to you without any repercussion. That's why I wish the world just stayed natural. Because you could live off the land. You wouldn't have to brown nose, suck up to anybody. And you could just be yourself. But out here in this world, you got to play the game. You got to walk past people. Most of the time I walk past people, I look at the ground. I'll look at the ground. I'll look up at the sky. I'll look the, over my other shoulder because I'm not trying to make eye contact with these fools out here, man. I'm not. I'm not trying to be in no deep, long conversations. I'm trying to get in and get out. It's bad enough we are dying breed. A lot of times we be starved for real communication. Because you're looking around you during the day, you're walking around. It's nobody that you can connect with. It's nobody that you can sit down and have a real conversation like the one that I'm giving right now. That's what you be looking for. That's what I be looking for. We not missing anything because we have the truth. But a lot of times we be just wanting company. It's not wrong with wanting to have good company. But as people with souls, there is no company out here for us. The only thing we have is meditation and living in this reality that we have. Other than that, we just we existing in their world. Living according to their standards. Having to look them in their eyes. I was in a line 
getting my sandwich. And this lesbian looking girl, she she had said something to me, like laughing or joking, like, you know, trying to spark some small talk talk conversation about because I said I wanted cheese bread on my um steak and cheese sub. So she was she looked at me and said something like, Oh yeah, it is good like that and was laughing, but she noticed that I kinda deflected her. Because I don't I don't want to talk to no bull diking looking girl like that. You know, people can do what they want to do. This ain't no hate channel. Cause you know, anything we say, they'll be like, oh, it's hate speech. I have the right to say that. I don't want I didn't want to talk to her because I didn't like that spirit she has. So I didn't want her spirit to feel like I was in agreement with her spirit by playing into her conversation. So what I did, I just, you know, said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just gave her that nonchalant, like, smile. Like, not a real smile, but just like, yeah. I was like, yeah, like that. Just real nonchalantly to, ne to let her know that I'm not feeling you. I don't even want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to have nothing to do with her. And as I walked out of the store, I said, let me make a video about this. I said, let me make a video about this because. And I was looking down at the ground while I was saying it to myself, like, you know, I got to do a video about this. And isn't it isn't it isn't it messed up that sometimes we even walk around looking depressed? I know sometimes people look at me and be like, what's wrong with him? Like, why? Why does he look depressed? I'm looking depressed sometimes because of you. The very one questioning why I'm looking the way I'm looking is because of you and everybody in the world is like you. So many people are like you. So I may look down sometimes because I don't want to look up at you. I don't want to look you in your face. I don't want to look you. In, I don't want to look you in your eyes. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. Flat out. What can I get? You know, I, I don't, man. It's just fucked up, man. And the only thing I, I hold on to is the fact that I can identify who is who. That's why, and, and that's another reason that makes it so hard for, for people like us, because if we couldn't identify these people, and if we didn't know that there was a separation between us and them, we wouldn't feel isolation like this. Isolation and this spiritual depression that we be having, part of that is the result of us being able to identify the fact that we are the only people in the room with a spark of intelligence. A lot of times that's where those feelings come from. You can identify yourself from the rest of the pack. And that brings something to mind. I got a live stream coming up. I want to say Friday. But this time it's going to be like a real live stream. It's not going to be an unannounced live stream. It's going to be a real live stream. Where we're going to have a call in number. We're going to do it the real way. Call in number and everything. Legit. That's how we're going to do it. And the subject will be about um, these human animals that we've been calling humans for so long. We got to stop. That's another thing I'm about to start pushing on this channel. These people are not humans. They are animals. And that's what the live stream is going to be about. I'm not going to spoil it in this video, but that's the new narrative that we're going to start pushing on this left side of the brain channel. Not only are they HPBs, but they are animals, literal. They apes in human shape and form and bodies. They don't have what we have. So stop saying they are human beings. They are not human beings. Just because they look like humans. And in that live stream, I'm going to go into the ingredients of what makes a human versus these animals out here. That's what our, our channel is. We go into that direction now.
We need to make clear distinctions between what is humanity and what is the animal kingdom. These people are, part, are a part of the animal kingdom. That's right. That's our new thing that we're going to start pushing. And that's going to be for the live stream. But until then, you know, I haven't posted since the last live stream that I did. So I'm going to upload this video. Y'all leave your comments. Hit the likes button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? We, we going into the winter months now. So it's time for the new year going into 2020. We pushing a new narrative. These are animals. Literally. And I'll explain why I say they are animals literally. We're going to go into all of that during that live stream. That's our new thing that we're pushing on the channel. So until we do the live stream, I'm going to upload this video. This should hold you. This should hold you to like Friday. Because I was like, I got to do a video because it's been a minute since I uploaded a video. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section. And until we do it again, this left side of the brain signing out.